In this video, I'm going to show you how to use ShareX, which is the best free screen recorder, somewhat similar to OBS. After watching this ShareX tutorial, you should be able to use ShareX with confidence. Using ShareX, you can capture your screenshots, you can record your screen in the form of a video, and you can annotate your screen before capturing it with arrows, rectangles, circles, and other shapes. Now this annotation feature is fantastic if you create educational video tutorials or for YouTube videos. You can also put some borders and frames around your captured screenshots. Now ShareX screen recorder has tons of features which cannot be covered in a single tutorial. Therefore, I have listed these 11 items which I am trying to cover, which are listed on the screen. And, and as you can see that after learning all these, you should be comfortable with using ShareX. So let's get started after a short break. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir and I make videos for educational technology tools available to teachers and students. If you are interested in this topic, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel. Now without further ado, let's get started. Now to download and install ShareX, you type ShareX download in Google and this is the website getsharex.com. You click on this downloads link and then simply download this executable file. This is the last full version and then you simply run this file and follow the prompt and ShareX will be installed on your computer. Once you have installed ShareX, you will see this logo. You click on that and you will see this ShareX user interface. Now, although you have installed the software, you still have to install few things. To do that, you click on task settings, then screen recorder, then screen recording options, and then you click on download to download this file ffmpeg.exe and as you can see that I can see my external microphone but you will not see any audio device here in the beginning for that what you need to do is click on install recorded devices so these are the two actions you have to take first and then you are ready to record your screen and we are going to talk about these settings in a minute now after clicking on these two, you can close this window and now we have to set the path for our folder where all our screen captures will be stored. So to do that, I close this window and I click on application settings and I click on path and by default, a path will be here when you open this. And if I click on this browse, this is the folder where by default ShareX stores all the files but I want to change it. To do that, you click on this browse and then you can select any folder. For example, I have a folder on my desktop, which is this ShareX upload. So I click on that and I select this folder and this folder will be here. Now, when I capture anything, it will be stored in this folder. Now, the next item is choosing an audio device, which I have already shown. You click on task settings, screen recorder, and in this area, I can select my Turtle Beach microphone. Now let's talk about some more screen recording options. In this audio section, you select MP3. You have few other options. And in this video codec section, you can either select H264, X264, or you can also select this H264 NAVIC. So I will keep this default option. Now this CRF is constant rate factor. If you hover over this, you will see this message here. Higher number means bad quality, but low file size. And lower number means good quality, but large file size. So this is the default value and I will keep this. Now in this preset section, ultra fast is the option for real time recording because for real time recording, you want to be as fast as possible. And if you select any other, it will show you a warning. But if you are recording some games, you can try slow options as well. So these are some of the important screen recording settings in ShareX. Now we can close this and close this window as well. And now let's talk about some of the hotkey settings. On the left hand side, you have this hotkey settings. 
if I click on that, these are some important hotkeys. For example, if I want to capture a region of my screen, I can click control print screen. So let us click control print screen and now it will show me this cursor. So this is capturing various regions as I move this and if I want any region I can click and I can drag. So I can select any region by using this method. And let's say I select this and I know this is my screenshot. Now if you want to capture the entire screen the hotkey is print screen. Click on the print screen button on your keyboard and it will capture complete screen. Similarly there are some other hotkeys. If you want to change any hotkey for example instead of control print screen if I want control 1 I can click here and then I press control and 1. So it will be changed to control 1. So you can use any hotkey which you prefer. So let us change it back to control print screen. So these are some hotkeys and now I'm going to show you how you can do annotations even before you capture your screen. So if you look at my hotkey settings, there is one setting for capture region, which is control print screen. And now what I will do is, now I have opened this PDF and I want to do some annotations before capturing this screen. To do that, I press control print screen on my keyboard and I will see this toolbar at the top and as you can see that I have not captured anything. I have got this cursor and if I click and drag it will capture that part of this region. But before that I want to put some annotations. So let's say I want to put a rectangle. So I click on this rectangle and now I select this question. A rectangle will be inserted and I have not selected anything to capture. Now let us click on this arrow and let me put an arrow here and now I want to let's say put some text and I click OK. The text will be placed here. I can even move this text. There are some other annotations as well as you can see and if there is some sensitive information I can blur. Click on blur and then I can select this region which will be blurred or I can pixelate which is a different uh, form of hiding something. If I want to magnify I can click on magnify and I can select any region and I can magnify anything just like that. And there is one important thing is this steps. If I click on this step now let's say I click here and I can put some text. What is the first step to solve this question for example? What is the second step? What is the third step? something like that. So I can do all these annotations. Now after finishing my annotations, now I want to capture this screen. To do that, I click on this rectangle region. Now this is rectangle shape and this is rectangle region. There are some other regions available as well. As you can see, ellipse or circular region, but I want to use this rectangle region. So I click on that and now let's say I capture only this part. And on the lower right corner, as you can see, this is my screen capture. Inside the software, I can see my screen capture as well as the preview. And now let us see how it looks in the folder. Now this is my path, the folder where I am saving my screen captures. And by default, ShareX is using this format, year and month, 2021 and September. And if I want to change it, I can change this in application settings and in this path setting. And instead of this year and month format, as you can see here, I can select any other formats. There are many formats available here. I can either select any of these formats or I can delete this and put something here. So let's close this. This is how this default formatting is controlled. And in this, I have all my screenshots. And this is the last one. And due to the file name format, sometimes it doesn't appear at the end. You can also change this file format in the settings area. So this is how you can annotate the screen capture before even you capture the screen. And now we have to talk about the last two topics, screen recording, which is the most important. And then I will show you how you can put some borders around these images which you have captured. And now I'm showing you one window inside my complete monitor because something will appear 
at the lower left corner. A timer will appear when we record screen. Now, if you don't want to use these hotkeys, there is a capture tab at the top. You can click on that and you have all the options available. You can capture full screen, a window, monitor, any region, all these options are here. But the most important is screen recording, where you want to create a video from your screen. If you are explaining some software, for example. Now, here is one important thing you should consider. I don't want to record the screen of this software. I want to record the screen of this PDF, but I have to start the screen recording inside the software. So there should be few second delay so that I could open my window which I want to record. So I normally put two or three second delay. To do that, you click on task settings, screen recorder, and this is the point where you can put the delay. For example, let's put uh, this delay to four second. So I have set this four second delay, then I close this. And now I click on capture and screen recording. And now I can select any region, but I want to select this whole screen and I have resized my PDF equal to this screen, which is behind this. So when I hover over this edge, it will select the whole screen. And now I simply have to click. And as soon as I click, a timer will appear at the lower left corner. So I click on that. And this timer will first run to the four second time and then it will start again when it will start the screen recording. So I am already late, but anyway, I open this and now assume that I'm talking about these questions to my students. So I talk and when I want to finish this, I simply click on stop and it will show me this message, which is behind me, but it says that share X task completed and it will show me the folder. I can click on that and my video will be played. As you can see that I am a little bit late in opening my PDF. You can't hear the voice because it is in the headphone, but then my PDF screen recording is here. It's a MP4 file, which is stored in my folder. So this is how you can record a screen. It's a very simple procedure. Once you know how this software ShareX works. So let's close this. Now at the end, let's talk about ShareX image effects. Now, if you type this in your browser, the URL which you are looking at, getsharex.com slash image dash effects. And if you scroll down, these are the effects which you can use in ShareX. So whenever you capture any image, if you are using this effect, the image will appear something like that. There will be a border. This is style. There are so many styles available as you can see. If you scroll down, there are many styles available. I like this one. And also this one is very good, very professional. As you can see, you can select any of these image effects. And as soon as you capture something, this effect will be applied and it will be saved to your folder. So let's say I want to select this effect. So I click on that and it will try to save a file. So I save this file on my desktop for the ease of access, let's say, and I save it. It is saved. And now I open this file and it will show me this message. Would you like to enable this? And let's say I click, yes, I want to enable it. And it is also showing me how I can disable it later on. So I click OK. And now this effect will be added. And as you can see on the left hand side, I have designed this effect myself. You can also do this. And I have imported these three effects from ShareX website. So all these effects are here and I can apply any of these effects. So let us close this. Now I will show you how you can choose any of these effects. So if I click on after captured tasks, add image effects, these are the four effects available here. So currently this one is selected, which we have recently uploaded. You can select any one of these. You can change it to anyone. So let us keep this and now let's capture something. And now let us capture a region. And let's say I capture this part. And as you can see that the effect has been applied to my capture. So in this way, you can preset any image effect which you want to apply to your screen capture images.
and this is very good when you are creating an educational resource for your students where you want to have some consistent border so i have covered most of the important topics about screen capturing and screen recording using sharex in this tutorial i hope that this will help you get started with the confidence but if you have any questions you can ask so i hope you like this video if so please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching and see you next time